Joe Biden finally commented on the UFO fiasco today. Isn't that great when the president of the United States can finally bother to find the time uh, to talk about why the Air Force is shooting objects down in, you know, U.S. airways? It's great. Or U.S. airspace. Excuse me. It's great. It's great when that happens. If you listen to my show, that's based at LawStreamers.com, Rumble, Spotify, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and Apple Podcasts. Uh, you're going to hear me say on the show that he didn't comment yet. Well, that's because we pre-tape. It was recorded yesterday, so I'm, it'll be out Saturday. Sorry, just ignore that little part. It's cool. Here's my apology for it. Uh, follow my socials, like, and subscribe here. It's all down in the description below. Caleb isn't funny on Twitter and Instagram. Caleb Salvatore Comedy on YouTube, or excuse me, on uh, TikTok. Caleb Salvatore on YouTube. Share the video around if you're feeling generous, too. That would be really nice of you. So he finally commented, um... On the video, or excuse me, on the, on the UFO fiasco. He didn't have much more to say than what they've already told us, which is they don't know who it is, they don't know what it is, and they don't know where it came from, but they know for a fact that it's not aliens. He said what he believes is that these belong to a private company or institution. Now, if you're going to buy this line of garbage... You have to believe one of two things. Number one, that private companies just started flying balloons up, you know, because he said it was to monitor weather. That per, Number one, that private companies just now started flying balloons up to monitor the weather. This is the first time in history they've done it. And not only was is this the first time in history they've done it, they decided, hmm, you know, it would be a really good time to do this right after they shot down that uh, Chinese spy balloon. So that's the first option you can believe. Or number two, we've been so inept that stuff has just been floating in U.S. airspace and we had no clue up until a couple days ago. Whichever one you want to believe. Or, you can believe, likely number three, which is that uh, this is a good chance for them to uh, get their buddies some jobs, some high-paying jobs, six-figure jobs, on the new UFO commission they just founded. That's that's what I'm leaning toward. They found a new a new commission to investigate UFOs because the last five worked. They found out so much, and they worked so well. Um, that's what I'm gonna guess. I don't think it's a distraction. Like every oh, it's a distraction from this and that. No, we distract ourselves. We don't need space aliens to distract us. Okay, they're not gonna distract us from a, a chemical fire in Ohio with space aliens. That would have to be really bad for them to pull that card. Okay. We distract ourselves fine. Just fine. I mean, the government throughout history ha has lied and faked things as an excuse to make money for their, their cronies. Why wouldn't they do it here? Hey, let's just shoot some balloons or just some random crap out of the sky. So then we can form this UFO unidentified flying object committee and give all these people these high paying jobs that they don't deserve. That's what they're going to do. So this came out as well. There is a weather, there is a balloon missing in Alaska. <laughs> um there is a balloon missing right around where they shot the supposed UFO down in Alaska. It belongs to the Northern Illinois Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade and it cost them $18 to make. They launched a $400,000 missile at it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if that's the case, this uh, recovery mission ain't going to yield too many results because <laughs> there ain't nothing left of that thing. <laughs> there ain't nothing left of that thing. I really don't. Th I, I do believe in aliens. I'm going to make the... I, I do believe that there are aliens out there. I do believe that we've been visited by these aliens. I'm going to Roswell tomorrow. Fun fact, nothing to do with any of this. It's just so schedule happened to line up with when uh, <laughs> when the alien when the alien stuff was going down. But I will be in Roswell tomorrow and Saturday. Come say hi. And uh, I, I do believe there are aliens. I don't believe this is it because let me tell you, if they shot down actual flying saucers belonging to actual aliens, they would not tell us. We would not hear about it. Also. If aliens came here from outer space, right, they came from light years away, galaxies away, 
to come check us out, I find it hard to believe that we would be able to shoot them down with a fighter jet. This is the more I, I know I, last week I was a little, uh, but the more I think about it, the more I realize, eh, probably not the case. Probably not the case. I don't, I don't think it was aliens. Not, not this time. Again, I do think we've been visited. I do think they're real. I'm a Christian, and I, I, I believe that we're not alone in the universe. It's okay for you to think that too. It, it's, it makes more sense that we're not alone in the universe. It's just so big. The odds of it, the odds that we're the only ones are eh, not, not too good. Not too good. Uh, but this is hilarious that we shot a four hundred thousand uh, dollar missile at an eighteen dollar balloon. <laughs> We're run by fools, man. We are run by complete, absolute fools. I know. I promised a video on um, the conservative civil war tonight. That will be later tonight. I got some stuff I got to do around the house real quick. But uh, we'll be dropping that later tonight uh, about the Stephen Crowder, Daily Wire, Tim Pool, Eliza Blue, and then James O'Keefe thing. Um, but yeah, it's not UFOs. It's it's probably balloons, and it's probably a conspiracy. Uh, it sucks so much because as much as I want it to be aliens, as fun as that would be, as much content as that would give me to talk about to the end of time, I don't think it's them. I just don't. I don't see it. I, I think a lot of the time with conspiracy theory, there, there are conspiracy theories. People do lie and cover things up for nefarious reasons. But I think a lot of the time the case is a lot more mundane than we want it to be. The reality is like I think a lot of the time it's the most boring, simplistic answer. And the most boring, simplistic answer is, well, number one. They wanted to look, you know, they wanted to do a show of force after the, the Chinese spy balloon kind of made Biden their bitch. But number two, they can form a committee or form a commission, right? Give their buddies a bunch of high paying jobs and just repeat the whole corrupt cronious cycle over and over and over and over again. That's really it, man. It sucks. But, you know, it's just like, the yeah, everyone's spying on us on our phones. Look at that. I, they're they're spying on your phones 24-7, right? But they're not doing it because they care what you're saying or they think you're talking bad about them. They're going to send secret police to shut you up. They're doing it because they want to sell you things. And it's just as boring as that is. And as much as I hate to be the bearer of boring news, it's just the reality. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, we got some updates, big, big fun news, or maybe not so fun for you, but it's fun for me because it's going to make the quality look better and it'll be easier to record and get everything done. I got some stuff coming in pretty soon here. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe, share around if you're feeling generous. Caleb isn't funny on Twitter and Instagram. Caleb Salvatore comedy on YouTube or on TikTok. I keep saying YouTube today. Follow at Caleb Salvatore or subscribe to at Caleb Salvatore on YouTube. Turn the notifications on, please, because they, they are going to shadow ban us. Um, Subscribe to my uh, my podcast. That's based with Caleb Salvatore. Outlawstreamers.com. It's on Rumble, Spotify, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and Apple Podcasts. Drop a five-star review if you're digging it like that. Thank you guys so much. We will see you later tonight. Peace out and stay based.